she's one. She's perfect. Oh, I'm so Are sorry, you okay? man. So good day, Susie. Hope you are fine. Said good day, Susie. Make the sun shine. Only twenty bucks cash. I figured most of my money would be plastic. You find anything? She's got an iPod with a lot of great stuff on it. She's got Leonard Cohen on here. <laughs> She's been carrying a copy of Catching the Rye. Did you smell her perfume? Perfume? I need money. So I'll take this and what do you want? I'll call her and get back everything else. Are you kidding me? What? It's the perfect icebreaker. Icebreaker. What's wrong with you? Look, I'm, I'm not like you. I can't just go up to people and talk to them. I try to say my name and panic and nothing comes out. I'm shy, I guess. No, there's a very big difference between being shy and a socially awkward douche, which you would know if you were in any way normal. It's just so much easier to talk to them when they have a reason to like you. They're always so grateful when they get back their purse. It, it's not like I'm doing any damage. So, what do you usually do with the cash? Well, I, I usually take out the money when I get back the purse, just to make it look like it was legitimately stolen. And then, I slip it back in when they're not looking. I can't wait to meet this girl. She, she really seems cool. Just the fact that her purse of black leather says a lot. Yeah. It says I don't want to talk to insane creeps who stalk me. But do what the hell you want. Hopefully next time, we'll find someone with more cash. Hi. Here's your purse. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. It's I was so worried. It's no problem. Holden Coffin's such a classic character. What? Uh, this, that book changed my life in high school. First thing I read that I could relate to. Oh, it's for class. I think it's the most boring thing ever written. Uh huh. So, Dragonheart's gone on TNT later. Uh, okay. Building up that credit score? Yeah. I saw you're an organ donor. Me too. Always want to give my heart to someone. Yeah, look, you've been awesome, but I, I really have to go. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Look out! Oh, sorry. sorry. Hey, you don't have any peanuts, do you? Uh, no, I don't think so. I have peanut butter crackers. That would work. Do you know what I'm doing? Yep, we're flying kites, and now you're flying peanut butter crackers? <laughs> Not quite. It's squirrel fishing. Somebody told me that once they latch on the end, they won't let go. Then what? I don't know. I guess you can swing them around and stuff. I don't think it hurts them. Well, swinging squirrels are good accessory, I guess. <laughs> Especially these ones. They're monsters. I hope that if I catch one, I can train it to attack the throats of my enemies. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Suzanne. Uh, Suzanne, like the Leonard Cohen song? Yeah. Believe it or not, you're the first person to ever make that connection. Wow, I'm, I'm Jake. You maybe want to go for coffee later? Uh, I hear they have tea and oranges come all the way from China. <laughs> I believe you continue to quote my namesake song during the conversation. I'd sing it for you if I could. So what do you study? Right now, Shoplifting, petty thievery. Really? I'm in the criminal justice program. Oh. Well, they're all radio ahead. For me, these are pretty interesting. But, uh, okay, just arrive at coffee, okay? Sure. Okay.
the hell are you doing? I need that money! Go away, I like her. And I hope you learned your lesson. Here's your purse. You're awesome. I can't believe I wasn't paying attention. How can I repay you? You want to start with dinner? Son of a bitch! <laughs> you smell perfume? Perfume? Get him good. Fuck it, we'll do a lot! <laughs>